The following portion of Daytime is sponsored by Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay. Foot pain from bunions is something that millions of people are dealing with every single day. And it can occur for a number of reasons, including years of pressure on the foot. Here to share ways to treat this condition, we have Dr. Patrick Donovan with Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay. Dr. Patrick, nice to have you nice on. Nice to meet you as well. So talk to me about, there's actual a professional technical term for bunions. What That's is correct. It? So hallux valgus is the proper name for a bunion. Um, and what it is, is it's a kind of a painful bump that forms on the outside of the the foot or in medial part of the foot. It's a large bump. It's right at the big toe joint. Um, extremely painful and it occurs over years and years of time. So what causes it? I feel like it's something that women get more than men. That's correct. So there's a whole host of factors. Some of it are genetics. So you can, you can blame mom for this one sometimes. <laughs> um, but it, it can be how the foot is structured. So if you are flat footed or it could be um, kind of what we call first ray instability or hypermobility and that can help lead to a, a bunion deformity. Okay, and they, they grow and they can just dramatically change the shape of your foot. Absolutely. When people come in, what's the first thing that you say to them or what can you do to help them out? So initially you can try to attempt some conservative care. Usually when they're coming to you at this point in time, they've already tried those things. They've tried the shoe changes, they've tried padding or you know taping it, um, and it's just not working for them anymore. And it's become so painful that they're now seeking treatment. Hmm, okay, and when they try to take some of these conservative actions, is there a, a line when they need to know, hey, you actually need to have surgery for it? Absolutely, so what I tell people is like, listen, if it's not bothering you, it's not bothering me. So if it's not hurting, I would say leave well enough alone, try those conservative therapies a little bit more, and then when it becomes consistently painful, then we have a different conversation. We start talking about the more invasive treatments, whether it be an injection to help relieve some pain and swelling, or you know, towards the end of the line of treatment would be surgery. Okay, and you have the, the foot here, so <coughs> walk yeah. me through what that looks like. So the bunion, it leads to malalignment of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint or your big toe joint. And what happens is, is the big toe starts drifting over towards your lesser toes. So the goal of surgery is to realign that joint. It can be done through a whole host of ways, whether it be bone cuts in the end of the metatarsal by the big toe joint or at the base of the metatarsal where we do a fusion with a new system called lapoplasty, um, which is something we use very commonly. So if this is something that you say could just be partially genetics, mm -hmm. is this something that you see young people also come in with or is it mainly an uh, older generation? So there is different types of bunions. There's pediatric bunions or there's bunions that form in teenagers, um, but it's primarily an older population um, and primarily women. Okay, are, is it because of the types of shoes that we wear? I mean, I just have to know, yeah. is that what's causing this? Shoes do play a factor, so if you're wearing tight, good-looking heels, you know, that you oh. all have to have, it can kind of lead to a bunion deformity. That was not what I wanted to hear you say yeah. right there. <laughs> so I mean, is it just about finding a balance of wearing heels versus wearing flats? What uh, absolutely. So a balance of uh, like an accommodative shoe that's not too tight in the toe box, as well as supportive shoes. You can also, you know, use inserts as well to help control foot deformities and hopefully help prevent or slow down the progression of a de bunion deformity. So inserts can prevent it too? They, not so much prevent but can help slow it down or kind of control it some. Okay all right I think you're you're speaking to a lot of people out there right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Not a problem. And for more information if you want to check this out the Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay is available online. You can visit omgtb.com. Daytime will be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay.